Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. Right now on Full Throttle Saloon. I'm losing honey like crazy. The first day of the rally gets off to a bad start. Look at all them people leaving. Goats up to his old tricks, but not everyone's amused. Don't ever disrespect me in front of well, people again. Well, don't you me. I am so fired. Plus, the pressure's on us. Can the flaunt girls get it together in time? They've got to deliver. To pull in a big opening night crowd. And an angry employee gets fired and comes back for more. Stop fighting, you're gonna get tased. Go ahead, tased me, bitch. Day to you. Of course, this is the official start of the rally. I hope you're ready for this because everything is happening here at the Full Throttle Saloon. What beautiful weather we have. What a way to say hi to everyone is welcome back to the Full Throttle Saloon with sunshine. Woo! Day one. Today, we open full swing. It's actually the official start of the rally. We're full staff. Yeah, all of everything's gonna be up and going except the t-shirt tent. They don't have it ready. I'm not gonna open it half assed. I got Ursa, who's my new t-shirt manager, and she's learning too also about how we function, but it's her first year. We could have this open today, I think. Okay. Um, I think. Yeah. It might be later tonight. We finally got our truck of 50,000 t-shirts that need to be um, checked in, folded, priced. This should have happened a long time ago, really, because we're losing sales. We need to get one or at least two okay. of every design yep. and put them up. The t-shirt tent's $20,000 a day issue to me. The t-shirts are a huge part of our company. So we got it up and going because that's the number one store. First full day of the rally. I just hope I see a lot of campers coming in and a lot of bikes coming in starting to hit, you know. Once that happens, that's when you get that money. Have you sold anything? There's nothing to sell. The barbacks haven't stocked the bars. We have product, we have cash, there's two by fours on my bar. I thought it was the world's largest biker bar and it was gonna be set up and ready to go. And... Still waiting for product and a register and I think everybody else is too, so. Just chilling with my stripper pole. Just kind of waiting to be told what to do next. Fajita Shack. Are you guys open over there yet? I just got the word that the Fajita Shack is under new management. My name is Rusty. Uh, I kind of took over the Fajita Shack since so Fajita Mike disappeared. <laughs> Come out here to the throttle to visit and uh, just fell into the family, man. Literally taking over a kitchen, managing a kitchen. It was different from what I'm used to. I'm more used to managing a bar. I didn't get any lettuce today on the truck. That needs to be taken care of the night before. You know it last night. Yeah, we knew it yesterday. Exactly. So let's take care of it yesterday, OK? No reason for that. None. I reckon I am the new fajita Mike. <laughs> All right. It's got to come together. I can get it open. But at night, man, we're going to serve the best fajitas that ever came out of this shack. And we're going to serve them well. And my crew is good. We're ready to go. Um, I feel good about this. We're going to make some money. That'll be a good spot right here. Oh, yeah. My name's John Crawford, and I'm here with the Rockford Van. I'm going to move these picnic tables, and I'm going to bring you right in and park you right here. Okay. That's a good spot, yeah. I drove from Phoenix to basically melt faces. Topless bus doesn't have a thing in there. It's dry as a bone. They're standing there with money and at their register, but they just can't sell anything. Right. Okay. The girls are standing out there without any beer or alcohol or ice. They're ready to work, and they don't have 
the product to work. Are you guys open? Not just yet. What are you waiting for? Monday, Tuesday, give us a date. You can't get a beer. We should have brought beer with us. It's Saturday. Why we don't have beer at a bar for Sturgis? You've still got bars out there that don't have ice and beer. Because right now there's no ice and beer in some of them. In some of them, I think, yeah. Why are we not f***ing rolling? Like, like, is it bar back problem or is it money problem with registers rolling? It's not a money problem. It's just an ice and a beer thing. We need more bar backs for the mornings. That's our problem. I need to know, y'all need to communicate to me what the is going on. Because listen, had I known that, I could have been here earlier and I'd have jerked all the parking lot guys and just made it get it done. I got a register, I got a girl, I got money and ice, I got money and beer, and I got customers. And for her not to be able to sell it, it pisses me off. If I was a bartender right now at right. this place, I'd say, you, I'm out of here. What are you doing? Oh, Look we'll at you. You ready, to, you ready to stir it up? We'll see how it goes. You ready? Oh, come on now. Don't, <laughs> no, come on. I, I met Christy at another bike rally, and I thought she'd be perfect for the full throttle. I mean, her attitude is off the chart. I love her outfits. I love her attitude, and the crowd digs her. Huh? Yeah. New yeah. stuff. I went shopping. Bikini. Make your own bikini. Oh, make your own bikini. Oh, make your own bikini. Gotcha. Car parts. What are you guys yeah. doing today? Uh, we got a whole thing of hubcaps back I there. Might go check I don't know that. if they're big enough yeah. or not. Desperate for workers, they can't afford to turn anyone away. So we're on our way from Sioux Falls out to uh, Northern California. The next thing we know, things breaking down, doing 20 miles an hour. We just hopped in, got some jobs real quick. Hey, I'm selling t-shirts. I'm running beer, ice. We want to get our RV fixed, and get some money in our pockets, and continue our good time. Everybody. How are you doing? I'm okay. Have they got you going yet? No, no, I'm not going what yet. What are we waiting on, ice? Ice, um... Where's the ice? It's the first day of the rally, and everything should be full swing, but it's been a complete nightmare. Hey, we got a bartender coming? We had had one here all day? Huh? We have not had one here no, all day? No, uh -uh, but people have been looking. It's like trying to make chicken salad out of chicken You know, up there in the main bar where the buffalo is? Yeah. I think that girl already walked out. I'm losing money like crazy. It's just been one thing after another. We're gonna be lucky if we can clear a hundred bucks after the day's over. Angie. Yeah. Sounds like the girl that was at the semi bar quit and already walked out. Okay. So there's just bought for one of your other girls, maybe. At this point, so am I running bartenders no, or is Sean? To, they, yeah, but they're not telling us nothing. They're not letting us know what. The only way I just okay. figured out there was nobody at Frozen Drake, nobody there is I'm going to the bars and seeing what the is going on. They're not communicating a damn thing. And unless I put my foot in their ass, they won't get nobody in here in the morning. It will have another okay, day that's that totally I'm totally cool. So, but we, I'm, I'm going to go communicate this to Sean because I'm like going I know. everywhere right I know. now. I know that Michael feels the pressure. I know we have 10 days to make this money to last the whole year. But, you know, during rally, I, I hate that the only form of communication we have is arguing. Is Angie Land open? I'm tired of questions like, is Angie Land open? Like I'm supposed no, to know. Chill your ass out. This is a start for this year that some of these bars didn't get up and running. So, it, you know, you're losing money. Look at all the people leaving. We got this Fajita Rusty in now. I guess he took the place of Fajita Mike. 
He's a good-hearted guy. He tries hard. All I see is y'all standing around. But he's a very moody guy. He gets all jazzed up, you know, over nothing. He, he kind of drags down the other people that's working around him and gets them kind of off track and freaked out some. Then he can be the first person I fire. What happened with all the bars not ready to go? Barbacks, they're running their asses off. We're trying to figure out how come all them bars didn't get set up this morning. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good question. Did, did all the, how many barbacks did you have? There's four here right now for the morning. That's not but, enough. Like, well, Air no. Force guys haven't seen it yet. That's yeah. because they can only work night they shift. They work cannot work the day. All I've heard all week is that they're working days, days and yeah. none of them at night. There's well, the up. There's a huge mess up on what time all of these big bar backs are supposed to go. Me and Byron and Angie were in sync that they're supposed to be in here this morning. Now all of a sudden, Sean and him's like, no, it's tonight. The total miscommunication bull And it, I'm, I'm furious right now because it's, here it is three and CJ ain't even sold a beer yet. Hey, are you working? Yeah. Who are you working for? Uh, Ursula. Put your shirt on. Okay. <laughs> I gotta do everything. sitting in one little bar that doesn't need it. Okay, why don't you send one of your guys into town. Go in time, get a money order and get lunch. Lunch. Yep, and I'm gonna give Luke a call and we'll get that on there. And make me a list of everything else you need. Please. Pronto. Yep. All right, and then gonna... you and I are gonna have that talk a little bit later too. Okay. Okay. All right, we're having issues getting rusty. Hey, you can ask them, buddy. I'm, I'm not to be honest. The unfortunate part of that, bud, I have asked them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Rusty's been overzealous. He's really taken the role and really been kind of a hard ass about it. He's threatening to fire people and everything else like that. You know, and just making everybody feel really uncomfortable. It's threatening constantly to fire you or, you know, get the out. I don't need you. I don't need that. If it was 10 years ago when I was a little bit younger, man, He'd have been looking at me from the ground, because uh, I had leveled him, but I was going to be the bigger man and just tell him that maybe he needed to run it his way and I just need to move on. He needs to grow up. He doesn't understand. We'll get it straight out. Oh, yeah. Or, I'll, you know, I'll put my foot down on him. That's that Rockford Fosgate man. Are you me? Sounds like yeah, it really does. Okay. If Mike comes over and tells me to move, then I'll move. Yeah. Well, shit. The speaker truck over here is, of course, very loud. Bad ass. The bass is set so loud, it's rattling the stuff off the top of my truck here. Like it? I personally just want them gone. It's ridiculously loud. I can't hear people talk because of the Rockford Fosgate truck. Well, since they moved in, I've been losing business. I got stuff shaking off the walls. I got lights shaking. People don't want to be in here. My ears hurt. What do you do about that truck? He's paid to be there. I don't know what to do. What's, What's it said doing you to put him there? Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I didn't have no place shelves. to. You do? What you got yeah. on your shelves? Uh, equipment. Let's put up right thing, something to catch it. That's not the point. I mean, I got the whole building vibrating. After all the other stuff I have to deal with, I've got a bunch of pissed off vendors on my hands because of the Rockford Fosgate van. Now I'm going to have to move him somewhere. <laughs> what I want to talk to you about maybe toning down yeah. your attitude with the employees. Because what's going to end up happening, we're going to lose employees because of it. And it's hard for me to replace kitchen. I just want the kitchen to run. I don't know what the details are, but I don't care. Don't threaten to fire somebody. Trying to do the best I can, man. I guess I ain't doing enough. I just, bro, according to them, today I haven't been, so. I realize it gets frustrating, but also I'll, I'll have somebody step in the position if you can't handle it. Well, I think Rusty probably will be gone by Tuesday, I think. No. Dude, this is... It's been a blast and I've been working on the clock, so I can't even imagine what it's going to be like when I get off the time clock. Security's gone. Let's get a beer. 
We're gonna hang out here at the Full Throttle until, you know, they pay us as much as we can make, party our ass off, and then we're off to California. I'm still taking off my shirt for this. I'm not. I don't give a Hell yes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's badass. Look at that no t-shirt required. <laughs> yeah, dude. We're gonna slam these before we get fired. Yeah. Because we will get fired. Ready? Let's go, back to work. Not bad for day one, dude. Yeah, pretty sure it's just gonna be awesome from here on out. I just got set up probably about 10, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> now that I'm set up, I'm ready to go. We got you beer, you're going? Yeah. This morning we were supposed to have all these power backs come in, which didn't happen. We ended up with five. So everything was just slow getting up today and getting off the ground. Good God. Six bags, and it's already got full of ice. Right. That's just a <laughs> waste. Yeah, definitely. Are you is it? It's in this camper right oh, now. We got issues going on with the bar bags, hauling the ice, and just filling up the coolers with ice, and then throwing five or ten bags on top, or throwing it on the ground, and just leaving it to melt. Yeah, look at the waste of ice. No. Sh I just wrote a check for $7,500 yesterday for a tractor trailer load of ice, and now here we are, you know, just leaving it to melt. It's ridiculous. Hey, listen. Are y'all hauling ice? Yeah. Do not put that on the ground. If you can't put it in a cooler, this is the third time. They have a door propped open with bags of ice just melting all over the thing. I just leave mine in the stack. It's $3.50 a bag. Of, I just wrote a check for 7,500 bucks for that trailer load. That's how valuable it is to me. They're just dumping ice like it's just free or throwing it on the ground and laying it out. You know, just, it just pissed me off because that, that trailer, that tractor trailer load is 7,500 bucks of frozen water. Mother Holy cow. That is sickening. Coming up. Stripper pole barbies acting completely stanky. Then. People are getting envelopes full of money and I'm not so pissed off. The newest bar back is sent packing. And later. Don't ever disrespect me in front of well, people. Don't you ever cuss it. me. You, you Jesse. You go. There in the courtyard. I don't like where he's sitting to begin with. Mike had moved one of the vendors, demonstrating how much low end he can generate with his stereo systems right underneath Goat's tower. So the two are just clashing. Randy, let me, come on, come on. Turn it down for a second. Can you turn it down for a second? This is miserable out here with y'all both going because I'm especially like if you watch, all you hear is it just washes out and it just kills the whole vibe. Is, is there not a better place? This you is rather? the second place I've gone. Hey, oh. So we were talking about trying to get coordinated. We're like at the, at every half hour, you would just pump that he's down there, let him have it for five minutes, just and let him just pound it out. What, what do I get out of it? Draw a crown. How much money do I get That's out of it? That's what you're getting paid, go. The only way I'm going to do it is if you don't play any jackal. I don't have any jackal, so you're <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I am kidding. I think we may have found a solution. The one thing we did find is goat's bad attitude. I'm kidding. Huh? I love you. Goat. <laughs> Where do I leave off? So, George, you're gonna handle the bridges again? Yes, sir. Camper. Charlie, I'm gonna just have you do the underdeck Angie land and that. And then you just kind of free range wander everywhere you need it. Those tip outs work on that then. Huh? How would, I, how would the tip outs even work on that then? Apparently, barbacks are getting pissed off. The bartender's supposed to tip out 10% of what their total tips were. Bartenders. Hopefully they can be understanding with us, be patient with us to get that all organized so we get the tip outs, and that's what I'm gonna get to work on right now. Okay? Good. Have fun, guys. Is this too hot of a job for you? I'm about to sweat there. 
Well, right now, we're having ice problems. In one day, I went through 7,500 bucks in ice. That is sick, man. We're freezing some big blocks of ice right now. We can get all this froze up. We'll be in good shape. So hopefully by tomorrow, that'll be ready to go. Otherwise, we'll end up with a $30,000 ice bill before this thing's over with for the week. What nights are you going to have fun on and what nights you're not going to have fun? Man, I am so not ready to have that conversation right now. So it definitely stirred up a hornet's nest to tell the flock girls that they wouldn't be on the main stage every single night. I went ahead and was sharing with them the possibility of us putting the, the perfect angels out there. I, I just have a question. Do you guys like think we just totally suck or something? I know we're not having them on Tuesday night. Yeah. So we got two other nights that we're not doing them. Probably not the night Jackal plays. Okay. Now they put Scott right in the middle of all of it. So I'm just gonna let him do his thing, let him put them out there tonight. We'll sort it all out tomorrow. We got the perfect angels. Angels are going to be here. As far as what's going on for the beginning of rally, what I'm having to deal with, I've kind of gone into screw it mode. Well, someone's going to have to get with me. How do you me. think that's going to fly? That ain't going to fly. It's going to fly sideways, but that's going to fly. Everybody's just kind of going off their own ways and not talking to each other once again. Bar back. Just take off for 45 minutes on the clock. So it was like, look, taking part of your tips on that. That's money and everything for like all the other barbacks that were working. Rock decided to get tipped off because I took a 45 minute lunch break. We're gonna just land these before we get fired. $150. That's what Phil got. That's fair. I just know what he told me. Because people are getting envelopes full of money and I'm not so pissed off. Well, I need my okay. 50 bucks. Sounds good. Here you go. Go turn in your shirt. Why, why am I fired? Because I took a 45 minute break, dude. When you made a comment about taking 150 dollars worth of our stuff, that really pissed me off. So there's your 50 bucks. Turn in your shirt. Have a nice day. Dude, you guys are guys. You take advantage of all your bartenders. And these people are pieces of straight up. These people right here. Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing out there? Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon. I hope you're having a great day today. Come over to the Jack Bar and see my girl up in the Jack Bar. I'll be down in about just a little bit. I am the GOAT. That's some fun. They worked out that Goat was going to pop it every half hour and then let that guy play his music so Goat and he didn't step on each other, right? Goat's totally just dropping the ball because he's free forming, doing his thing, and don't want nobody crushing his art. The, the vendor got, he said you never threw it. Yes, I did. He said you didn't, listen, he yeah. said you never threw it to him and he got his feelings hurt. I told him that, that he, for him not to forget to come and remind you, but he said that he never, we never did it once after that. I totally did. I might not have done it every half hour of the hour, but I did it. But that was the plan was to do it every half hour. Okay, then I'll tell you what, if I want a list of everything I'm supposed to do, I do this every year with you. You bitch and moan about everything I do every year. Yeah, well then I'll write it down. At the half hour, at the it. hour, at the wow. top of the hour, half hour, you're gonna throw it amazing. to the guy. I've been here for 12 years, it's amazing. It's finally getting done. Y'all worked it out. I did it. work it out. We didn't do it. I did do it for the song. I'm not gonna do it every, I can't do it every single time. I don't remember it. Go to agree to it, and then he tells me, that was impossible, it was a dumb thing, stupid. You had to write it down for me because I can't remember it otherwise because I got too much going on. I mean, just, you know, the guy's, he's a drama queen. His stuff goes over my speakers. I don't have to turn my That's speakers off. That's your I thought you would want to do this. So don't ever disrespect me cussing me. Don't disrespect me cussing me. I will, but you listen to me. Damn it, goat. I don't think all of us artists combined has the ego to match the goat. I mean, that guy is just, he's on a universe on a whole nother level, especially when he gets the power of that microphone behind him. I mean, don't talk to me. Just, don't talk to me. I'll just have him, I'll just have him come up here and y'all can work it out again. But no, no, I'm you're not talking, not, you're done. I'm not talking I thought, to you. I thought you would want him to don't, not be no, stepping Don't ever disrespect me in front of well, people don't like ever cuss it. me, you, Jesse. You would want him to don't, not be no, stepping don't on ever you. Disrespect me in front of well, people again. Never cuss it. Me, you. you Jesse. You go. Get rid of me then. After we sat there and made that decision collectively, 
He just dissed the guy. So now I got a vendor that's pissed off. Is that your final answer, man? Get rid of me then. If you don't coordinate with this vendor, that's going to be easily done. It was helping go out. I would thought he would have respected that. You know what? Things have got to shape up. We got a long way to go to get through this rally, and Goat's going to have a long road to hoe if he don't shape up. I will not be belittled by anybody. I give a What is it? We have a disgruntled bar back. He thinks we she's short a hundred bucks on something. So What's I don't know. he's mad because the bartenders haven't been tipping him out. Oh, so he, he made a comment about and he said, "Well, I'm just gonna steal hundred and fifty dollars worth of from here." Then uh, I'm gonna have to watch him. I didn't know that. But apparently, Steve got fired. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. That sucks. But um, my plan's still the same. I'm still going to stay here, finish this out, uh, get a paycheck, hopefully find a shop that's open that'll fix me up, and continue on my way out west, see what I can do. Busy today. You got the nice looking bikes. Then you get the gritty one, so you got them all. If it's strange, it's here. <laughs> What's wrong? What is it? I'm trying to get ready, Michael. I've been like running and running and running. What do you got to get ready for? We perform tonight. At nine something, ain't it? Yeah, it takes me a little while, Michael. Baby, you're so beautiful, you don't Whatever. even need you to do are anything. Such a like you can just, just show up. Tonight's our first performance, and the pressure's on us. I, I've, I'm already getting into it with some of my girls. You don't understand me. Jesse's sitting here throwing, you're not going to be on stage every night. We are leaps and bounds ahead of where we were last year. You're not. Yes, we are. Bum, bum, bum. You get up on your chair. On top of that, we have three new girls that really need to learn their dances and need to know where they're going. And we need to get our together and make this a great performance. Well, I figured I had a few more miles left on it than I did. If you're gonna do it, do it right, man. Times already. Can't you just go handle it with Goat and figure that out? I've already there? got into it with Goat. Goat's not wanting to cooperate. He's being a total that unplug his We made a deal that he would, you know, cooperate with the sound system guy every 30 minutes. And after we sat there and made that decision collectively, he just dissed the guy. He's, I don't, I'm over I'm, that. I'm going to end up knocking Goat's teeth out his throat. I don't care. At this point, all I'll give a about his customers bringing a cash register and buying beer. So now I got a vendor that's pissed off. I mean, this thing has got to shape up quick and Goat's got to get his act together. You guys call it full throttle salute, I call it hell. Okay, can you go from the office? Hey, I, she won't get me right now. I have to do this changeover. I actually had all my bartenders show up tonight, so that surprises me. That's probably the first time that's ever happened to me in 11 years. <laughs> I knew I was going to have to watch Christy, the new bartender. Oh. We told him absolutely do not get on the bar. What are we going to do about body shots tonight? Nothing. I have no whipped cream, but I did a bunch of whippets last night. Okay. No contact means... No contact. Even if it's husband and wife? Nothing. Okay. I've got bills, just like anybody else in life. And if you can't have fun, you're not going to make money. Because if you look like a dud behind a bar, they're not going to come up to it. So I just call this my work occasion. <laughs> We're going to go together. I'm here in a working party, so. Still sore. It's hard to hold me and a topless woman on at the same time. <laughs> Man, that was pretty good.
We gotta open. I just, we need to just load tables and they let them be selling even though we can continue to do all of that. The tent's not open and going. We got our shirts in late. They got shipped in late. So we have to tag all the shirts, get them out. And it's just been a nightmare. I just want to get open because I want to make money. It's Saturday, it's Saturday night. I know, dear. So, I'm sorry. I get so freaked out because we got all this inventory and merchandise. There's just stuff everywhere. There's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars out there laying in this place that needs to get sold. We got to be open in the morning like at I know. 7. Don't leave tonight till you hang your displays up, all your shirts on the I'm racks. To, yeah, we're working on it, Michael. All right. The t-shirt tent has to be open in the morning even if I have to go run the sun myself. I'm fed up with it not being open. It's costing me 20K a day right now with it not being open. It's freaking unacceptable. Even if it's 3 a.m. Okay, Michael. We got to be ready to go in the morning. Okay. Okay. 4 a.m. Okay, Michael. 5 a.m. 5 a.m., Michael. I watched the plant rehearsal two nights ago, and it was way off, and it's still a lot to put together the way I see it. So tonight, the plant girls have to show us what they're going to do. You know. you know, whether we're ready or not, here comes our first performance. Just really worried about the new girls being able to get through the performance and not forgetting all of their steps. So who knows what's gonna happen? And then you turn like this, this, right? It's a lot of pressure just because I am the newbie and they've all danced together for so long. Well, after this is this, and then we take off the jackets. No, okay. Then what part am I thinking? We've got to take the throttle to another level. And it's no different for the flaunts. I mean, they've got to deliver. Full throttle flaunts! Coming up, Goat's up to his old tricks. And things go from bad to worse for the fired barback. We are going to get tased. Go ahead, tase me, bitch. Uh. Ladies of Flaunt prepare to kick off the rally, and everyone's feeling the pressure. I know Michael and Jesse expect a lot, and people expect a lot from us. We have to do better than we did last year. So I'm a little concerned. We've got to take the throttle to another level. And it's no different for the Flaunts. I mean, they've got to deliver. But as of right now, based on what I've seen, they're just not there yet. We have an exotic, neurotic, and a little bit psychotic sideshow for you. We like to call Full Throttle Flaunt. It's left in the parking lot, and we're out there to flaunt it. The girls done great, but there's just a few things that they might need to tweak out overall. I don't think they're going to be able to do every night, but I mean, they definitely pulled it off tonight for sure. I often refer to the flaunt girls as the equivalent of herding cats. And, uh, you know, tonight's another prime example of that. But they want it so bad, and they're so passionate about what they do, but it's just going to take some more corralling. It was our first night, so it can only get better from here. This girl was letting customers pick her up. I saw her kiss a couple customers. It's, just, it's disgusting. Busting my ass. But watching stripper pole Barbie go up and down the pole with the same tricks over and over. Not serving drinks. Just acting completely skanky. It's frustrating to know that somebody can just get up and do that when they're assigned to sell beer and not to dance on a pole and make more money than I can because they're flaunting their shit all over. You're a bartender, you're not at a strip club, you're not at a whorehouse. I'm having issues with your brother, so I really don't want to be around him right now. Whose brother? Jesse. It's already over with. Well, it is, but it's not. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah.
Jesse, you go. I think I'm getting tired of this place. You do? Yeah. Wow. over this next year is going to my animal rescue. And it's called Angie Land's Animal Nation. I totally appreciate this. Thank you so much. Basically what it is is it's a no-kill facility where just any creature we come across that needs our help is going to be able to take up housing at Animal Nation. So I got one tooth Paul sleeping in our t-shirt tent as our security guard out here this year. And who knows what's gonna go in the way that guy drinks. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> Just some place you call home for a little while. I think Doe called it the, uh, the little whorehouse on the hill. <laughs> she left her bra. <laughs> I got laid. <laughs> Souvenir. Like a thing of ice to keep my bologna sandwiches and stuff in. These I eat with. It, it, it don't keep up with the music that I need to play. So I got a regular set in here somewhere. Guess what? I found them. You know, with one tooth Paul, who knows what's going on in that place? Anything standing out? Tonight was the first night, the full swing kind of things, you know, so I'm just trying to find out what girls are maybe shady or whatever, and I can start just dialing in on them. Well, that gal you got on the pole there in the middle. Is it Christine? Yeah. yeah. At the main bar? Yeah. She had a good crowd. Look, she said, I don't know about her. Oh, let me go see what her till is compared to these other girls. Sean, you got a copy? Do you ask her for Sean? Hey, can you come to the security room, please? Yes, sir. You. This girl right here, tomorrow night, I want to rearrange this a little bit because I want to get this teal. Well, I'm going to be talking to her tonight anyway because all she, she's, oh, she's trying doing, she to... Yeah, she's getting in their arms, letting them hold her, sitting on their heads. That chip jar's got to be stuffed full and her teal's got to be halfway empty. Christy, she wasn't worried about moving our product, our beer, our liquor. She was more worried about dancing and playing with the customers and making tips for herself. And that's not how we work here. Yeah, he's gotta go. Security's having a busy night, and they're marching out an employee who was fired earlier in the day. Turning your shirt, have a nice day. You're disrespecting him now, so. The only reason the guy's back now on our property is to stir up some kind of trouble for other people and cause some problems. Well, you have to go. Have a good night. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more high-strung crowd, I guess, for the first night. Where are we going? We're going out. We're going. Usually the first couple of nights are pretty laid back and mellow and we've already kicked people out for being too drunk, starting fights and stuff like that. It's been a busier first night than normal. Let me through, come on, let me through. Are you kidding me? Is there a weight limit on this? Come on. Ready? <laughs> I give up. I had a very bad day today. That's your never cussing me. Fuck you. Jesse, you go. I have an issue with, with Jesse a little bit. I'm just here to drink now. This is Goat Swan Song. I think I'm going to get fired. Stop! 
was just a freak of Stop fighting, you're gonna get tased. Stop Tase. fighting. Can you get him a little bit, man? Stop fighting. Now. Now. Stand up. 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 We've asked him to leave and he gives security a bunch of crap. So we just called the police to have his ass taken out of here. All right, what we got? What we got? Hey, 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 I guess that guy just had a bad day. Or maybe he has a bad day every day. Who knows? <laughs> you know how I celebrated my good day today? I danced on the bar. I was on the pole. I was. All the way down to my skivvies. As far as goat goes, I know he got drunk running around on a golf cart again. Then I don't know what he did after that. I don't know if Michael Ballard considered this stealing, but I gave her five dollars. I am so fired. I am. I am so done. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, it is time to go home. Let's go, go! We need you to make your way towards the front please. entrance, please, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you take care. I need to report right now. We're just now shut down. We got a lot of girls out here checking out. We're struggling a little bit in the office. It's going to be a disaster going through the process of that because it's the first time a lot of them's ever done it. I think we're going to be way lower today than last year. Simple fact of not being up and going today on a day shift. It's just sales that are gone. You just don't make it up. Hey, Mom. I haven't checked it yet. I haven't had a chance. Everything's been up today, big time. Just did, things didn't get done. Girls were standing at their bars till two o'clock with no, couldn't even open and pissed me off because I spent the last two days getting the bars ready. I got 10 days to make my money for the entire year. I don't have a paycheck next week. I'm done. I got 10 days here to make my money and then it shuts off. All they had to have was beer and ice after I set all them up and then they didn't do it. It's been a day here. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon, a turf war in the kitchen. Fajita Liz is back in town and she's in charge. These other people probably gonna get canned. I don't like their attitude already. We got a lot of work to do in here. I'm really ready to walk myself right now. And I, I, I can't do this. Michael charges at the door. This last minute is bull And the only way I'm gonna do it this year, being a down year, is to have a $10 cover charge, crap. And the Christie controversy heats up. She makes those other girls step up. You're insane. Let her roll down the road. I don't need her.